if I happen to have broken my toe right there, who cares? It's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's not like you're gonna cast that toe. It'll heal. <laughs> Okay, I wear many hats on the Paul Thomas MD YouTube channel. I am producer, I am seedling to this one as he is my father, and I'm also a CrossFit coach. And I try to get this guy to settle down in the gym, but he's one, a little too athletic for his own good. Two, he's like free as a, like a child. He has like a childlike spirit in the gym, so he just wants to do anything. And three, who am I to stop him? from his physical potential. Anyway, what happened yesterday, Doc? Well, I had this coach, yeah, that guy, the one behind the camera, who says, we're gonna do max box jumps. So jump as high as you can, and you're gonna see in the video that they took of me uh, attempting to do this. I got over the bar. <laughs> so as you can see, I was a little awkward in my landing. Well, I am 62. Some of the younger folks were going, how old are you? They were a little right? bit surprised. He's pretty springy, actually. I was impressed. Last night, I was having some difficulty with my foot. Oh, yuppers. And uh, I, I wasn't spots. sure why I wasn't um, sleeping well. <laughs> yeah, never mind those ugly toes. Here. I wake up, look at my toes, and like, no wonder it was hurting when I was sleeping. I don't think they're broken. When you have a broken bone and you press on it, it is severe pain. I don't have that. At least we're gonna try it and see. So this is the toe that looks most challenged. And if I if I were a patient, a doctor checking a patient, I'm pushing pretty hard. And oh, right there it does hurt. But that's you know that's that last knuckle. And uh, if I happen to have broken my toe right there, who cares? It's, uh, you know, it's not like you're gonna cast that toe. It'll heal. Uh, sometimes in medicine we'll do buddy taping, so we might tape these two together to provide them with some support. But I don't even think that's necessary. This one got bruised too. You can kind of see on the end of it. It's all bruised can up. I, can I ask you a different question? Sure. What's going on with your, uh, your toenail there, guy? Ah, uh, so I have, actually this one's worse. Is it? Yeah, so I have fungal, fungal, uh, Tinea unguium is the fancy medical term for it. Hey, look at that, it blanches. So you put, you push on it, it turns white. And it, well, that one doesn't even turn white. But that's blanching, right? I'll, I'll illustrate that. And that's good blood flow. This one's not doing much. Anyway, um, there you have it, folks. You've got your own Dr. Paul sharing his own ugly toes. Uh, oh, I do have... They're perfect. Uh, <laughs> they're perfect. I do have a lot of patients come in with the fungal toenail infection, all worried about it. Uh, it this used to involve all my toes, and I'm down to a so little bit there, normal, normal, and then these last two have a lot of fungal. I've heard, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you can pee in like a, a little bucket and then soak your own toes in your own pee and the ammonia will actually help to, to get rid of the fungus. Is this true, Dad? Now that I haven't tried, and I'm not sure I will. Hold on, hold on. <sighs> clear. There's no pee on these toes. There's some good smelling feet. I just got out of the shower. If you happen to have fungus on your toenails, you can certainly consult with your provider, uh, but it's not a big deal. I also am demonstrating that if you have an injury and the pain is just at the very tip of your toe, even if it were broken, there's likely nothing you need to do for that either. I'm certainly not going to worry about it. If we have ongoing problems, we'll give you an update. But there you have it. A uh, nicely bruised toe. Possibly broken, but I bet not. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul.